whenever you all are ready, could you tell me about what you built? Sure, so I guess we can start with the uh, objective. Um, the, the objective here is to basically accelerate a facial detection algorithm with the FPGA. And the way that we plan on doing this was to implement image preprocessing on the FPGA. And so we, we have, we have the, the demo of it actually working, and then we actually have a separate demo in Model Sim, and I'll explain why uh, right now. <laughs> Um, so, the, the way that the pre-processing works is basically we take a source image and we calculate what's called an integral image. And an integral image is basically each pixel value is uh, translated to be the sum of all of the previous pixel values in the upper left corner. And so we have a state machine that is able to kind of traverse an entire image and all the pixels and basically do that calculation. And we have that um, happening in the model here. This is the retro image here, um, so you can see it starts at oops, um, here at the bottom, um, and this is how it's um, calculating. So every pixel it calculates. The I see. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the source image in this case was just zero to um, the maximum number of two to the five over and over again. So you can see here that finishes zero, one, three, zero, zero, plus all of that. Yeah. Um, and the speed about this is it calculates um, the sum for one pixel every cycle. Um, and then, um, yeah, you can see here is when it wraps around to the next row and it decreases in value again. Okay. Make sure that it's working. Um, okay. So, um, so that's that's the, the, the integral image state machine. Um, that's not actually on the chip because the problem here is that. Um, when we're doing the integral image calculation, because you need basically every other pixel to calculate any given pixel, mm -hmm. it ne necessitates the, the, you to store all of these values in memory as you're computing them. There's no other way to actually do it. And so the QSIS bus just didn't like that. Also because it requires um, power of two um, like memory bit widths. So we were forced to make it 32 bits when actually we made it 25. So it's almost told, told us that we ran out of memory. Um, okay. But the, the FPGA right now, what it does is basically streams out the data from, from the camera um, regularly. And then upon the hit of a button press, it will save the, the frame and it will send that frame over to the HPS side. And there's a whole bunch of stuff happening on that side too. So the HPS side also does some pre processing where we then convert it into a grayscale image. Um, where specifically each pixel itself has five bits for um, red and blue and six for green, and that causes a problem because normal uh, grayscale images are eight bits in, in length for each, each color. So that causes a darkening, so a little bit more processing is involved to be able to convert to eight bit values mm -hmm. to um, make the image a little bit better for the, for, the machine, or for the machine learning algorithm to actually take the image. And, okay. and detect the face. So after it takes that specific um, image, it then converts it into a DAT file, and then we send that over SCP to a computer that has a greater processing power to be able to actually run a theory of this thing called a higher detection filter. So basically, it takes the face in grayscale value, it sends it over um, an SCP line, and then it runs it through the face detection algorithm where it will detect the location of your face and then it will then take that image, shrink it down, take the large image, shrink it down to a smaller image with your face and then run another machine learning algorithm to detect your eyes. Okay. And then after it's done with that, it stores all that data back into DAT files and then sends it back over to SCP where then all that data is then sent back to the FPGA to be able to detect the location of your face and draw some eyes on your face. Oh my god. Okay. So like three different lanes of communication happen. Yeah. So can I just confirm that I understand that whole sequence of events that you just described? Sure. Yeah. So the camera data is being streamed to the VGA by the FPGA. Mm -hmm. That's right. And when you say so, you grab, it freezes a frame. Mm -hmm. You send that frame over to the arm. Is that correct? The arm side. And then the mm -hmm. arm SCPs that back to your PC. Mm -hmm. It goes through two machine learning algorithms, one to detect a face, the next to detect eyes on that face, mm -hmm. wraps up that information and sends it back to the arm. The arm then sends it back to the FPGA and the FPGA draws That's right. yep. glasses over the locations of the yeah. 
Yes. And, oh, I see. Okay. and there are sort of like signals that happen back and forth in between them to make sure that we're receiving and sending at the correct times. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. That is so and and that sequence of events that I've I described, am I correct that that's a workaround for a memory limitation that you encountered on the FPGA? Um, yeah, there are like several reasons why this happens. So, uh, first of all, um, if we wanted to send like that amount of data um, over like a PAO port, that would take a while. Mm-hmm. And so we tried putting on the QSIS bus, it was too big. Um, additionally, uh, I think the model that we were using couldn't handle like the size of the individual image as well. Um, so our workaround was um, using the source image. Um, to go into the HPS side. Okay. Yeah, the pre-processing step requires a grayscale image, but unfortunately it only re- it only takes in an 8-bit image because grayscale is 255 um, as its maximum. So it was it would error whenever we would run a um, 32-bit image. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Can we see, yeah. see it yeah. work? Yeah, so you have to uh, run this thing. If you uh, take this uh-huh. and then um, put your your like take your glasses off, but put, put your face in the light. If you um, then we can let's see. Okay, that itself took a picture of your face, and then now we run a model on it to be able to. It's now calculating. We may need to take it again because I think the lighting itself um, had a pro- little problem with the lighting okay. with your face. So if we try it again. Yep, let's try it again. Okay, cool. okay. If you want to hold the camera, put it to your face. Okay, let's just make it as bright as possible. Stare at the camera. Is uh, in the in the picture. <laughs> is that gonna screw it up? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's detecting his face as well, so it doesn't know. Hey, you see me in there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it again. Yeah, and again. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's yeah. see um, this way. Yeah. This is that lighting way. okay? Better lighting. Black. Yeah. Can we pull up that black background? Sorry about that. You know, it's a work in progress, right? Of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that good? That is much better. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're gonna put your eyes off a bit more? Open them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I'm so sorry. That's okay. It's prototypes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, that's perfect. We also could be blue eyes as well. I don't know exactly how. <laughs> Those crazy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, oh, man. One second. We're going to just do it again because I, okay. didn't, I didn't start it. Sometimes they run on multiple models and it just doesn't know. Uh huh. There we go. Right, it's detecting your face and your image. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you, got, you got glasses. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So it, it, it ran through multiple algorithms, which took it a little bit of time. Sure. But, you know, it's a work in progress because. Um, it was trained on a large data set, but it, there's, the data set itself does not include errors of, you know, tiredness or, <laughs> you know, <laughs> other things as well. So. Well, cool. Yeah. That, I mean, that's a, that is a pretty tremendous workaround that you figured out uh, yeah. for this problem. So that's very yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Thank you all. Yeah.